What do you want in life? Do you want to have brain shrinkage, neurological damage? Great, then go vegan. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been a while since I checked in with Dr. Garth Davis. Dr. Garth Davis, the plant-based hero. He uploaded a video called Miley Cyrus Omega-3 and Veganism. Let's have a look. So Miley Cyrus isn't vegan anymore. That is true, and you still didn't learn how to flip your phone. And all of a sudden, people are freaking out and are all over the internet. Full of energy. Must be the vegan diet. You're so full of energy. Running to go and buy fish. It's always weird to me because, first of all, veganism is not a diet. I, I don't <laughs> do veganism to be healthy. Is it healthy? Yes. But do I do it to be healthy? No. That is amazing. But you're still wearing your doctor's coat. You are the authority clearly here because you are what? A surgeon. Since when do surgeons know anything about nutrition? But hey, at least you admit you don't do it for health. Rightfully so, because veganism is not healthy, dog. You are nothing but an animal activist. Otherwise, you would be recommending meat. Stop playing the authority. In fact, if you look at it, some of the long-term studies, and my favorite study being the Adventist Health Study, <laughs> shows vegans live exceedingly long, healthy life. But you mean the epidemiological study on vegetarians? Or people that identified as vegan? Yes, that is cutting-edge science, doc. Tell me more. Guess who's healthier than them? The pesco vegetarians. And there is oh. a reason for that. Ah. It turns out that omega-3s are important to our body. No way. And we are learning more and more about this. There was a recent trial with high dose pharmaceutical grade fish oil that did show a reduction in cardiac mortality in people with high triglycerides. Oh, really? We also know from several trials that people with low DHA and EPA, which are long chain omega-3 fatty yes. acids, tend to actually have their brain shrink over time. Oh, I drink to that. Cheers, doc. There have been studies showing that supplementation with omega-3 can help with concentration in people that are having problems and DHA and EPA deficient. Uh -huh. And get this, vegetarians and vegans can easily be EPA and DHA deficient. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're doing my job for me. Thank you very much for wrecking veganism. You're taking flaxseed, even flaxseed and chia seeds, because that produces ALA, but your body has to turn ALA to DPA and EPA. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it. It's a house of cards that comes crumbling down. B12 is the only thing you have to supplement. Wait for it. DHA and EPA will be the next big one. But it is not so easy because they will see that you won't be able to absorb it. Algae oil doesn't equal fish oil. This is what you see right here. Brain shrinkage. Thank you for explaining vegan YouTube to us, Doc. DHA and EPA. And it has about a 10% efficiency in doing so. <laughs> and so that can create a problem. And oh, really? And maybe why we see... A better survival in in pescatarians in the man the brain fog in this guy can you speed it up a little bit in this health study likewise the vegan diet's not perfect we don't get a lot of b12 and so no you don't get any b12 stop lying if you don't take b12 you could get higher homocysteine levels and you get higher homocysteine levels you are at an increased risk of having a stroke or a heart attack <laughs> so but it's the healthiest diet on the planet, right? It's the healthiest diet. Miley Cyrus <laughs> said that she couldn't concentrate. Like yourself. And she's now eating fish and she could concentrate. <clears throat> First of all, look, this screams a little bit of like a nocebo placebo effect. In other words, enough people say she complains, oh my God, I can't concentrate. People say it's because you're vegan. She said, oh my God, maybe it's because I'm vegan. Now she's set up to think that she really can't concentrate. And then she eats some fish and she gets this kind of placebo. Oh my God, I'm sh 
Sure, because we all need an authority like Dr. Garth Davis to tell us what is going on in our brain because he is a surgeon. Yet again, you have no idea about nutrition. And on top of that, you have no idea what is going on individually in people. I know when I'm performing well. I know when my speech is on point. I know when I can concentrate well. And I know when I'm feeling down. I know what food does to me. I've been experimenting with diets for the past 16 years. I tried your plant-based diet. And guess what happened? I got brain fog. I got depressed. I got digestive issues. You name it. But was I the only one, you might ask? Check YouTube. But those are just anecdotes. Yeah, sure, because epidemiological studies are so much better. Yes, the pinnacle of science. Epidemiology, we love it. You know for a fact that people are suffering on a vegan diet and it's always the same symptoms. And what heals it? Animal foods. Wow, how outrageous. A species-specific diet that we've been eating forever actually helps us with our brain. And if we don't eat it, we get brain shrinkage. But veganism is the right way to go. Yes. I'm sharp now. I'm, I'm sharp. It could have been because of depression. It could have been a poor sleep cycle. Why did she have depression? Well, maybe there's drugs involved. Oh, he played the drug card. Miley Cyrus, just a druggie. You know, That's this why. really is not a scientific study. This end of one Miley Cyrus now eating fish feeling better. Ah, oh, thank you for clarifying. Number two, <laughs> look, if Miley was really worried about it, all you do is you supplement. It does turn out that if you really want to get to the natural... And Miley Cyrus didn't supplement, or what are you telling us? See were, you doing it, but were you doing it intelligently? Like, I were you supplementing all my supplements. the right way? I do all my protein drinks. As you just heard, she supplemented. Guys, Miley Cyrus is a superstar. Not that I care about such things. I think it's ridiculous. However, we all know that she's very wealthy. I'm pretty sure that she has access to supplements, Doc. Source of long chain amino, uh, omega 3s, they come from algae. The fish is a middleman for, for the omega 3s. Yeah, just as the cow is the middleman for grass. Why don't you eat grass? Why not go straight to the source? So Straight to the grass. Supplement. There have been some good studies showing that uh, the long chain. Uh, omega 3s, the DHA and EPA that you get from algae is as good a supplement as taking fish oil. And yeah, did you check those studies as well where there was humongous amounts of residue, of solvent residue in those DHA and EPA supplements? And it works just fine. No, works fine. It's but, good. Dude, can you speed it up, please? Let's go a little bit further. Mm. Why are people freaking out that Miley Cyrus is no longer vegan. Are, are you vegan because Miley Cyrus is vegan? That is a good question. Who cares about those apostates? Why do you believe in veganism? Why do you want to leave our religion? Do you think that Miley Cyrus is some kind of mm -hmm. expert on health and therefore... No, but you are, I'm sure. <laughs> she drops it because of health issues, therefore you've got to drop it because of health issues. No one should be vegan just because of health. I don't tell my patients to go vegan. I tell them to go plant-based. I do say eat fish or uh, supplement. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the vegan doctor recommending fish. I do say eat fish. And the brainwashed vegans will point to those guys to brainwash fellow humans and tell them to go vegan because the vegan doctor said so. What's up, vegans? Who is Garth Davis now? Is he just a plant-based poser because i do think omega-3 is important but i'm not <laughs> vegan not because of my health i'm vegan because fishing absolutely destroys environments it's a yes and monocrops don't horrible horrible <laughs> stress on the environment there's bycatch involved um and i don't want to be a part of that industry i don't want to contribute to it in any way shape or form yeah, because there is not wild caught salmon. We don't have that. Now, if I had no choice, well, I would start fishing and catch my own fish and, and eat it. 
But I do have a choice. I could take an omega-3 supplement, which I do. Every it sounds especially like a future ex-vegan to me. Come on, Garth. Come to the good side. We have steaks. Now I don't have to worry about being part of that industry. And that's what being vegan is about. Some people don't think fish feel pain. Fish definitely feel pain. They've got a central nervous system. I don't feel like I need to contribute to their pain. And that's why I'm vegan. And I could do it in a very healthy manner because I'm a whole food plant-based eater that supplements omega-3. I have no need for fish in that regard. <laughs> At one point I was pescatarian and I had very high mercury levels. And so I could avoid that too, simply by taking algae omega-3. Or by choosing the right fish. But yeah, that is not an option. Same goes with B12. I take a B12 supplement. Now, some people will say, you know exactly that there is no proof long term that vitamin B12 supplementation will lead to a healthy outcome. We have no long term studies. All we have is a rise in blood levels that says nothing about absorption. A vegan diet is not a natural diet. We should eat a paleo diet like paleo man ate because that is the perfect diet for longevity. And that, that's always look, that's crazy to me because that <laughs> assumes that natural selection gives a damn about you growing old and being healthy so that you can watch your kids grow up, etc. Natural selection doesn't give a damn about that. All natural selection cares about is that you live to the age of procreation so you can spread the dream. After that, natural selection doesn't care. So to say that primitive man or what we evolved to eat has anything to do with longevity. Is natural selection. So I'm just going to assume that you actually believe in a Darwinistic worldview. But when it comes down to food, out of a sudden it does not apply. Vegans are nothing but walking, talking contradictions. Flat out wrong. What's better to do is look around the world at the cultures that live long, healthy lives and um, look at multivariate analyses and what is associated with longevity. Garth, let me ask you a question, all jokes aside. Have you been to those countries? Have you visited those cultures? Have you seen what they eat? I went to a couple of blue zones and you can clearly see that they're thriving of animal fats. The whole animal. Do they eat sweet potatoes? Do they eat plants? Yes, of course they do. But what they have in common as well is eating the whole animal from nose to tail, from head to toe. They are eating the whole animal, organs, intestines, blood, everything. You guys make a fool out of yourself telling your audience that they are healthy because they're eating potatoes. It is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, you see over and over again, it's fruits, vegetables and beans. That is what's associated with longevity. <laughs> no, it's not. Conveniently, you forget about the whole animal. Now, blue zones are not vegan for the most part, except for the 4% of the Seventh-day Adventists that are, that are vegan. But they do eat a predominantly plant-based diet. They do eat some fish. Some of them do eat some dairy, though most of that comes you know, from goats. But the point being is that you can emulate their diet for the most part. Yeah, exactly. Let's emulate it for the most part. Wait a second. They are healthy populations. What do they do? They eat an abundance of plants and the whole animal. Let me emulate that. Let me cut out the animal and take B12 and DHA EPA supplements instead. Like that, I will live even longer. Vegan logic. If you have an ethic where you don't want to eat meat or fish, you could eat that diet and get the benefits by supplementing. And some people think supplementing... Why not eat a carnivore diet and supplement the vegetables? Uh, ...is somehow not healthy, but the research says otherwise. You could live a long, healthy life as a... Which research? The proven science. Which one exactly, Garth? It is ridiculous. Even your epidemiology just shows that an omnivorous diet leads to healthy outcomes. Wow. Without contributing to pain and suffering and to destruction of environments, but you do have to supplement. And I think Miley Cyrus could have easily supplemented and be fine. Sure. Uh, but if she chooses not to do that, that's fine. You be you. Don't worry about what social media influencers and celebrities have to say. <laughs> All right, and this is it. I could have easily just re-upload Garth's video here and he would have done my job for
for me. This was a beautiful debunking or let me say a beautiful destruction of veganism. Your own so-called plant-based doctors debunk your ideology, your religion. It is absolutely pathetic. What do you want in life? Do you want to have brain shrinkage, neurological damage? Great, then go vegan. If not, join the dark side. We have stakes. All right, guys, and this is it for today. If you enjoyed this video just like I did, then leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. As always, may God bless you all, guys. Much love and peace.